All right, so today we are going to cover our uh, Thai boxing 15 count. Uh, with our 15 count, what we're going to be uh, working on quite a bit is uh, essentially a defense followed by some, some attacking. Um, when you're doing a few of these defenses though, it's really important to make sure you move off on the angle. Uh, when you do so, it helps line up the next defensive motion uh, in this set pattern. Now I should all, I make sure I always mention this in my classes, but these long counts are set up uh, for repetition if you have an inexperienced pad holder uh, or if you're just wanting to just crank out repetitions um, or if you have a bag, you can work this great on a bag. Uh, but this is not how uh, you're going to go into a situation and actually just crank out 15 shots like this. That's, this doesn't work that way. Uh, but this is a great way to teach you some reactions in the middle of teaching you some striking. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to teach this in five uh, counts three different times. So you're going to have uh, one count of five, another count of five, another count of five, and at the end of this we're going to button it all together. So the first one what we're going to do is going to be uh, against, you have to visualize a cross and a hook coming at your head. So I'm throwing a cross and a hook right at you, right? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to parry the cross. Usually if your hands are up in a tie boxing stance, you're going to parry the cross and this hook is coming in, so you cover that hook. And it's going to be a tight hook. You might have to give a little bit with it. Uh, depending on how heavy they are. If you have great timing, you can actually stuff into it. It's going to be situation dependent, of course. Uh, but what we're going to do is you're going to parry this, cover this. Right away, you're going to throw a left snap elbow and then a right down elbow. Okay? Um, I usually say left, right. Uh, I should also mention it could be lead rear. So if I happen to be in this position here with a right lead stance, I parry and I, I cover, and then it's now a right snap and a left down. Uh, but I'm going to go from the left lead. Uh, so this is parry and cover. Then this is snap elbow followed by a down elbow. All right. So that's the first four. The last one of those is the knee. Now the reason why I backed off is because usually when we teach this, we uh, are going against tight pads or something along those lines. You might just grab uh, right here on somebody and, and drive this knee in. Um, but what what is really nice is if you can have the pad holder hold the uh, pad here and then throw this cross at you. That way you actually work a, a knee reaction or a knee under drill. So you're actually countering that cross and driving that knee in. So all together, this is parry and cover, elbow, elbow, and then knee under. I'll turn, face another side here. This is parry and cover, elbow, elbow, and knee in. One more time, parry, cover, elbow, elbow, and knee in. Again, when I'm doing that knee in, I'm visualizing pairing another cross. So the next set of five will be uh, starting with the left kick. So I switch kick left. So I switch kick left. I throw a cross, a hook. I'm going to give a right knee or a rear knee. I drag my knee in, and this is important to step out. Okay, when I step out, uh, I actually, I got this from uh, Guru Josh Pryor, um, because for the most part, I had just been driving this in and then kicking right away. Um, but he really emphasized the uh, importance of stepping off on the angle for me, and it, it helped quite a bit. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, left kick, throw the cross, throw the hook. When I hit my knee, I step off on the angle, sectoring away from them, and driving that right round kick. Okay? So I'm going to uh, keep it going from this angle here. This is left kick, cross, hook, right knee, step out on the angle, right round kick. And one more time, left kick, cross, hook, right knee, step out, right round kick. Again, you can do these in any sort of uh, right round kick style you would like. I mentioned that in a previous video where you can go all the way around the circle or you can uh, sort of kick the can and, uh, and sort of uh, cancel that kick out. Uh, now, the last set. Um, of five here is going to be based off of them first throwing a heavy cross at you. Uh, this is a really committed cross or this is a big looping overhand shot. Okay, so the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to teep them. Okay, so once uh, once they see that coming in, I, I have this lead teep. That's why it's so important to have had this angle on them. Uh, if I try to teep and I just did my knee and my kick, if I stay in front of them, that cross is going to hit by the time my, my teep comes up. So. I hit my knee, I hit my kick, and I'm off on the angle. Now I have time to drive that teeth as, that, as that, uh, that cross comes in. So they tried this big goofy shot and it missed, or I countered it. 
Now another one's coming at me. There's another straight cross. They're just ticked off. They're ready to throw the shot. So I'm going to slip this hook or this cross. I'm now going to throw a hook, then a cross, and then I get to throw one of my favorite shots, which is the hop right kick. And you hop and then drive a right kick. Okay, so I'll run through it again. This time I'm going to face you the whole time. So the first one is uh, their overhand right comes in. I'm, I'm angled off a bit. I drive a teep and I counter that right. They're ticked off, they're throwing a straight cross this time. I slip, I now throw a hook, followed by another cross. Um, the hop kick is there to either fake or to chase. So if they back off, I'm chasing with that hop right rocket. So we'll do this again. So uh, I hit my knee, I hit my kick, I'm angled off. Here's my lead teep. I slip, hook, cross. Right away, I'm going to uh, drive my kick in there. Okay? So I uh, hop kick. <clears throat> Lead teep, slip, hook, cross, and hop kick all the way through. So that is three sets of five. You obviously add those together and make one long 15 count. This 15 count is going to look like this. So to start it off, I am going to start by defending their cross and their hook. I parry their cross, I cover their hook, I elbow, I elbow, I knee. I give them a left kick a cross, a hook, a right knee, angling out, right round kick, left teep, slip that cross, hook, cross, chase him down with a hop right round kick. And again, parry, cover, elbow, elbow, make sure you're covering your head as you elbow, knee under, left kick, cross, hook, right knee, angling out, right kick. Lead teep, slip, hook, cross, and hop right around kick. And one more time. So I parry the cross, I cover the hook, I throw a lead then a rear elbow covering my head. I drive a knee underneath their cross. I do a switch left kick, cross hook, drive a rear knee, angling out, rear round kick. Lead teep, slip, hook, cross and hop right round kick. All right, so we're gonna cut to the bag so I can show it to you on the bag. All right, so we're back here on the bag. We're gonna finish this out. So I've shown you the three different five count segments that make up the 15 count. We're gonna put it all together on the bag. Um, again, there is still an element of visualization here. So I still have to parry the cross and cover this, uh, this hook. I drive an elbow, I drive an elbow, I drive a knee, I switch kick, cross, hook, rear knee, angling out, I drive a rear kick, okay? Now my lead teeth comes into counter, I slip, here's a hook, here's a cross, and then I chase him down. When I chase him down, obviously the bag is still here, it didn't run away from me. So I kind of hop it and then drive that kick in there. So again, I parry, I cover, I elbow, I elbow, I'm gonna get my rear knee, bang. Okay, lead, t or lead kick comes in, switch kick, cross hook, rear knee, angling out, rear kick, lead T, uh, slip, hook, cross, and hop right round kick. Okay, I'm going to use the fact that I actually have something I can hit here to illustrate how important this angling out is. So, um, we we'll might as well just do it from the top. I parry, I cover, I elbow, and elbow. I knee, I switch kick, cross, Hook, here's my knee. If I just stay right here, I can drag this kick in and I can maybe hit this teeth. But you see how choked up this, this, and this kind of gets? One, two, and three. This is not very uh, conducive to actually countering their energy. So if I drag this knee in, angle out, now I have a good kick, now I have a good extension on my, on my teeth. So I'm able to actually defend myself a little bit better. So all, all uh, together again, parry, cover, Elbow, elbow, knee, switch kick, cross, hook, knee, angle out, kick, teep, slip, hook, cross, and hop right round kick. One more time, parry, cover, elbow, elbow, knee, switch kick, cross, hook, knee, step out, kick, teep, slip out, hook, cross, and hop right round kick. So, that is our 15 count.
There's other 15 counts, there's other variations and other uh, options you can add to this. But right now, that is the one I'd like you to start with. So thank you very much.